Uh, and before you, again, we're going to be ready to do a uh, presentation in Spanish. For those of you that speak Espanol, how many people speak Espanol? Whoa! That's wonderful! Hey guys, let me say this. I, I'm telling you this right now. When you look at how Telex Free is made up, there are more Hispanic than there are English in this business. It is growing like crazy all over the world. We have an opportunity now to continue growing, but I don't want you to take it from me. I want you guys to hear how some people have seen the vision of Telex Free and now they're coming in, exploding their businesses. I want to introduce who I'm bringing up. Carlos? Natalie. Miss Natalie. Guys, I want to introduce this lady. This lady right now, and I'll tell you guys, let's give Natalie a big hand. <laughs> Natalie and her husband, Stefan, have been very instrumental in opening up not only South Florida, but also Haiti. These guys are phenomenal. We took a trip to Haiti, and I'll tell you guys, when I tell my story about I was broke, yeah. I'm telling you folks, what I saw in Haiti, even when I was at the brokenest of broke, made me feel like you ain't got nothing to complain about. Because there are people there that desperately, guys, I, I, we went and we were driving in the car, and, and I couldn't believe it. It was miles of uh, what they call the shanties. And, and, and what I saw, the conditions that people were looking, and as we passed, in this police motorcade, and I got a chance to look in people's eyes, and it was like hope was gone from what has happened to a lot of those people there. Natalie and her husband, Stefan, went over there, and they've done an incredible job. They have meetings over there where I think it's 500, 1,000 people are meeting, and, and people are now getting hope again. So I want to introduce very quickly Natalie. She's doing an awesome job. Tonight. I know how those boys. I'm so excited. I've never been that excited in my life before. I joined Tally Three on December 28, 2012. We didn't know Mr. Randy Crosby. We met him on the internet. But that was a great, a great, a great meeting. Because my husband spoke to him a couple of nights and he told me, Natalie, this is it. This is what we're going to do. We used to do network marketing before. Some we did okay, but we have a bit deal, right? Goes like this. But when we saw the opportunity with Tax Free, we said we got to bring this to our community because the Haitian community is hurt. You all know what happened. So we decided to start in our hometown in Florida, in Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Miami. We didn't have a location. We have a friend who owns a funeral home. He said, well, if you want, you can use my funeral home. Because <laughs> we were so broke, we couldn't afford to rent a room. So we said, OK, we're going to try. So we started promoting the meeting. And as people are coming, when they realize it's a funeral home, people back up. So then we always have to have people outside trying to tell them, it's OK, there's no dead people in there. <laughs> And we have to get them very early in case there's a coffee with the people so we can push them and put them in the national But the thing is, it was fun. And at night, uh, some of my team members are here. At night, we have to wait to get out together because we're scared. Oh, we were scared. <laughs> but bottom line is, when you want something, it doesn't matter where you are. And let me tell you, right now we gotta move again. Last night we had a meeting, 500 chairs. God, people are all over. We were scared that the Martians were coming. People need telling speed. The thing is, a lot of times we make excuses, right? And we are so comfortable the way we are. We're so comfortable. People talk about the American dream. What 
have eased your inventory. Just paying your bills, having an okay, decent house, and a decent car, is that the American dream? No. I want to be able to have breakfast in Florida and have supper in Spain. Why not? Thank you.